Hi, this is Bill McCready from Santana Science. I'm here to show you something really cool. Now, 29, of course, but even more cool than 29, this is exogrid tubing. What the hell is exogrid tubing? Exogrid tubing is a bilaminate tube made of carbon and, in this case, titanium. Let me show you about it. Here's the finished tube in the bicycle. That's not a sticker. That's not paint. That's carbon. How do we put carbon inside a tube? Here's the tube. Titanium tube, raw, beautiful tube. Taper diameter, by the way, very expensive to make. We send it to a guy with a laser, and he cuts out these shapes and gets rid of half of the weight of the tube. But the tube's not quite strong enough yet for you to go riding on it. So now we have to strengthen the tube. So what are we going to do? We're going to put carbon in it. I'm going to show you the finished one right here. Here's the tube with the carbon in it. Now, again, how do you do that? It's right flush, it's real even. How do you do it? You actually make the carbon tube inside this piece of titanium. We take the wet, gooey prepreg, we roll it up, we put it in the end with a balloon. A piece of latex rubber, literally. We drop it down in what would look like a waffle iron. Clamp down the lid, turn it up to 300 degrees, Turn on the air pressure to 150 PSI. So with 150 PSI on the inside, 300 degrees, we cure the carbon right here. Now, I doubt the camera's gonna catch it, but when I look through here, I can actually read the word Santana. I can actually see all of those cutouts. We've actually pushed the carbon right up into the recesses. Smooth, gorgeous tube. Now, what happened? Again, we start with titanium. Everybody's going to tell you titanium has this wonderfully supple ride, but it's not quite stiff enough for a big boy like this. So we build a big bike like this, a big strong rider on it. Look how far it is between the front bottom bracket and the axle. That's so far that we just got to do something to stiffen up the bike sideways. We can't let that guy pedaling on it push the bike sideways so far. So when we put this carbon in, amazingly enough, the carbon we put in has twice as many layers at the edges as at the tops and the bottoms. So we've taken a titanium tube and we've made it twice as stiff in this direction, but the suppleness of the titanium has been retained in the up and down direction. So it's a little bit lighter than we started. A little bit lighter than titanium isn't bad, but it's twice as stiff side to side without losing the comfortable feel of titanium up and down, but that is not the best part.